everyone and welcome to today's heart to home devotional uh, as always it is a blessing to be here with you as we open up god's word together uh, well i saw in my calendar this month a, a jewish celebration of rosh hashanah i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that exactly right but this is the the jewish new year and it's uh, the beginning of a, a multiple day celebration which culminates with Yom Kippur. And it was interesting to me to see that one of the things they celebrate during Rosh Hashanah is the creation itself. I had never thought about having a, a celebration of creation. I think it's a great idea to do that. Not a celebration to worship the created, but to celebrate the marvels of the Creator Himself and His handiwork. So the Bible starts with a profoundly simple statement. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. We should celebrate that. Only a master deceiver can complicate and uh, or complicate the obvious and obscure the majesty of that statement. In the haze of this deception, we seem to have lost the ability to be struck with awe at the eternal power and wisdom on display by the one who created. And I was reminded of a quote that I had written down some time ago by A.W. Tozer in his book, The Pursuit of God. He says, the modern scientist has lost God amid the wonders of his world. That's quite a statement. Think about that for a moment. The scientist can spend his whole career looking at, looking at, studying, observing, calculating even just one small aspect of the wonders of creation, all the while completely losing sight of God, the creator. That is tragic. Well, unless we get too smug about our lofty position of being able to uh, see God in his creation, let's keep reading. I did not re read the whole quote. He says, The modern scientist has lost God amid the wonders of his world. We Christians are in real danger of losing God amid the wonders of his word. We love the Word of God here at Calvary Chapel, so I think it's, it may be a little bit easier for us to see how we can lose God amid the wonders of His creation than it is to see how we could lose God amid the wonders of His Word. In creation, there are literal wonders all around us from micro, the microscopic to the universal, and we could never exhaust the wonder to be found and observed. Yet we see that, that its testimony is lost on the majority of, of the people. It's at the, or it is the same with the Word of God. The wonders are endless, the testimony is endless, yet we can lose God even while we are walking among those wa wonders of His Word. Psalm 119, 160 says, The sum of your word is truth and every one of your righteous rules endures forever. There is no other being whose word endures forever. And I think that is, it's the key word in losing God among his word. We can forget that God is a being. He is a person. As with any personality, in order to get to know him, we must explore and cultivate that relationship. He does not leave himself unknown. He gives us his word and his spirit to explore who he is and to develop all that it means to have a relationship with him. If we approach his word any other way, we'll ultimately lose, I believe, the desire to be in the word. And I would like to read four verses to you that testify to the beginning of creation and the action of God toward his creation and his desire to have a relationship with us and to be known by us. 1 John 1, 1-4 says, 
That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest, and we have seen it, and testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard we proclaim to you also, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. Our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ, guided by His Spirit and His Word. The center of the wonders of the God's Word is God Himself, and He desires to have fellowship with you. So I hope you find an, this is an encouragement to daily pursue and deepen your relationship with Him. Let's close in prayer. Lord, I just thank you uh, that you have given us witness of who you are through your creation and through your word. And I pray, Lord, that uh, we would pursue you amidst those treasures, Lord, and uh, that it would constantly point our minds and our hearts toward you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. We'll see you the next time. Thank you.